So this one is called Disadvantage. Summoning the strength. Trying not to expose too many fingers to the cold. Check my phone. Again. Bus is coming in about 20 minutes. Relax. Eat. Carefully open the white paper bag. Check. Look to my right. Square type, plastic, rectangle, reflective, blue luggage, reaching almost the same height as my waist, as my body rests off the orangey red ben bench. Pick up the napkin, then plastic spoon, tinted maroon. Nausea. <coughs> Swallow a bit. It's okay, throat. Breathing in and out, slowly, carefully. Thinking back in the yoga studio. Before it all happened, no inkling it was ever going to happen. Belly rise, belly fall. Feel the air, feel my stomach. Trying carefully to balance and block, not to be too affected. The pills to stop me from getting ill are killing my body. Eyes are yellow, jaundice. Body wants to be carried home. Marvi, he, stop. I'm in Kingston, waiting for the 408. Belly rise, belly fall, belly rise, belly fall. Can't hide this from mom. My eyes definitely are yellow. Jaundice, the internet said. Common side effect of some antiretrovirals. Had he used a condom, would it have been a lighter blow? Maybe even a stranger. Cold, crisp, air, in Kingston. Clean, tidy. Here everyone knows about personal space. Councils sweep the streets. Shops entice with otherworldly, pale, Grey clouds, temperatures below 10 degrees, concrete pavements, pale pinks, turquoise, blues, reds, sparkly photo shoots, blown up faces mostly off white skin, teeth glaring, not menacing, everything in its place. Embarrassed to admit, this feels more like home to me than Bulawayo. Having opened the lid, no spillages or burns, the plastic cup container reveals porridge filled to the top, sprinkled with seeds and honey. First mouthful, chew, slowly, Breathe. How to tell mom? Can't hide my yellow eyes. Look like a bug. What stories do I bring from Ekaya other than Umavi had sex with me as I slept, having passed out on the same bed as him when we went to pick Obaba up from the airport in Harare? We had both been drinking. Tried to push his hands away from me, grabbing and taking off clothing. Then a darkness came over me. Alcohol. I can't handle my alcohol. Pulled his calm from inside me before showering the next morning. He said, Pepper pin. Translating to, I've already apologised, haven't I? 
Why is he not saying? We were both drunk. Swallow. Second mouthful. Chew. Slowly. Breathe. Don't cry. Tell those tears to stop. You're at the bus stop in Kingston. Focus on the cold. Eat. Need to build your body up. What if I have to take these pills for the rest of my life? Thank you.